This is the Dymo Label Manager. Alright, this is the Dynamo Label Maker from Dymo. Dymo, not Dynamo, Dymo. Um, this is essentially a label maker, as you can say. If, like me, you have a vast collection of plugs and things that are sticking out of every wall socket around the house and gang fours everywhere, and you have to try and remember what the plug looked like for the particular item that you want to unplug, then this will make life easier. It's 25 quid off Amazon. I plumped for this one primarily because I believe it's the one that they recommended on the Whatever Works podcast some months ago. It has the QWERTY keyboard and a screen and things so you can see what you're typing. Typos uh, can be corrected before you actually print off the label and then stick it to whatever it is that you're sticking it to. So. Uh, on the back here it says it's got 160 features, which seems quite amazing. Um, so type text easily on a computer style keyboard, format fast with one touch smart keys for text, size, bold, italic, underline, all that kind of stuff as well. So it has richer text than you would expect from those old punch ones that you got. Uh, see what your label looks like before you print. Six fonts, eight styles, four boxes plus underline. That's pretty much the same as what it says there, but phrased differently. Add professional impact clarity to your labels. 120 or 228 symbols, clip art images. Oh, ooh, clip art images. So you can just stick a picture of a printer on your printer one. Uh, use quick access keys to, uh, to enter punctuation, <laughs> because punctuation is important whenever it comes to label making. And power six AA alkaline batteries. Not included. Six AAAs. Oh. I'm currently charging my four double A's in the hope that that makes a bit of a difference. But, well, we'll we'll get on with this and see what happens. Because I just remembered I bought these out of Smith's because they were 89p, which means it'll work for at least three or four minutes. Okay, so falling out is the unit itself. We'll come back to that if there happens to be anything else in the packaging, of which there is. Okay, we have the Label Maker Quick Start Guide. Looks very useful. And then, I'm guessing this is a cartridge of label -y materials that you, or tape or something like that, that it prints directly on. So, standard label, uh, half inch, 12 millimeter label. There's an example label there, and another one there of home and insurance. And then, compatible with. Right, okay, so if you happen to have bought this, have lost the cover or whatever and need to know which one it is you're buying, it's this one. So we'll open it up and have a quick look at this first. And it's a funky little cartridge that has many gouges and, and things. That must be a thing that you pull out to make it go in. Black and white. You must be able to get colour ones as well. Correct and incorrect. So there's instructions and all that kind of thing. Okay, so the Dymo easy to use. We'll peel that off because that's only going to get in the way. We have a power button here. We have uh, buttons along here. Bold italics. So these have been installed to make it easy to flip between bold and non-bold. Underline. Change the, cor or the direction of the type. And then that must be print once you're satisfied with it. And then there's a button here which chops the tape. We have a menu button here, a D-pad plus an OK button in the middle, and a back button. You know, come to think of it, all of the controls here are enough to be able to play Doom. So we'll, we'll have to see if we can force Doom on here. It, it goes on everything in, in technical word world. Uh, 1 to 0, QWERTY to P. A to, well, there's full stops punctuation there. Then we have special characters down here for differing areas across Europe and things like that. So we can get rid of that button altogether now. Uh, we have backspace here. We have switching between caps lock or maybe a shift function and enter. 
So there's tons on there. Around here we have a cutout. That must be so that we can see how much tape we maybe have left or something to that effect. Uh, we have the battery compartment here for the six AAA batteries. Uh, there's nothing down at the bottom, nothing on the sides, aside from that big choppy button. And then at the top we have, oh, a power. Ah, that could work if we run a battery part during this video, which is entirely likely. And then a door that we open for us to place this in. And I'm guessing that we have to remove this before we place it in. Actually looks like a stick of uh, dent, dent uh, uh, chewing gum. Ah, right, okay, that is the actual tape that I'm, I'm drawing out, wasting. Okay, so we'll be able to check, test the cutter. That fits in like that. We close it up. I'm guessing that the tape comes out this little hole here, and we chop it away. And now we've just wasted a couple of labels worth. It's probably about four quids worth of tape or something. Right, uh, we'll get some batteries in it. Okay, we got the last battery in there and it leapt into action. So we can turn her on. And it's asking us a bit of a setup. English. Okay, we hit okay. MM. Ah, millimeters or inches? Which do we prefer? I'm going with millimeters. Six, nine, or 12 millimeters. Ah, it's asking us which we've loaded. So that, that said 12, didn't it? So we'll stick in 12 there. Okay, now we get to put in our first label. So we're going to go with Studio. No. See, we change, switch case there. U D I O. Studio will go back to capitals because it's so easy to do. Doesn't automatically flip back. So studio lights. In fact, because it's singular, we'll put studio light one there. So that didn't print terribly well. <sighs> because there's a problem here. Right, we'll try that again. 12 millimeter we've loaded. loaded. Studio light one, printing. And we now have Studio Light 1. Typeface is okay. The T looks a bit thin compared to the rest of it. But it works. So, can we reduce the size? Print 8, print 10, print 12, print 16, print 20. So that was on 24. We'll go for 8. Of course, it doesn't show you what that's going to look like. Uh, we can obviously bold it if we need to. That might look a little better bolded. Although I would probably have to trim that myself just to make it really neat. I don't know I like that amount of, of paper. Uh, either side of it, uh, italics allows us to flip it to italics, uh, underline, underline, and then turn it on its side just to be a bit woo and a bit wah. So menu, what does the menu do? It allows us to insert symbols, Clip art. Someone putting something in a bin. Umbrella. There's a bunch of clip art that's available here, but maybe it's not. Well, you probably have to take a while to flip through it. I'd love to think that on the website maybe there's a, a guide so you can find the clip art that you're looking for because there's cars and trees and buses, penguins and sn snakes and or cats and spiders. 
dogs, ticks and axes. And, and, and um, emojis as well, oh, very handy. Love hearts and stuff, you know, useful stuff that we're, we're all going to need. So, label length, language, units, that's all we have in there. Symbols, clip art, symbols and clip art. What is, uh, symbols is more punctuation based and uh, mathsy and things like that. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah, yeah, there's a, a ton of stuff to play with here, which it, it's remarkably simple. I like how simple this is. Um, they could have made it a lot more complicated. Um, and at 25 pounds, it is fairly hefty. Um, it uses an awful lot of batteries. But uh, at least you have the opportunity to plug it in. Um, I'll be interested to see just how long this spool of tape lasts. So there's half inch, there's 10 feet of tape in here and then we've used maybe about half a foot over here playing with it. So we'll have to keep that in mind and be fairly economical uh, using this type of affair a bit more often to get as much on as possible. There's no point in printing all that out. Uh, that's if you're working in a business or a radio studio where they have these things and, and vast amounts of tape on, on it available to use. So I'm going to go around and label everything. Uh, my, my pets will probably be labelled as well. Um, my son will likely have a number of labels on him. Uh, so in the next video you'll probably see Aston Martin written on the side of this and Samsung written on the side of that. Oh, it's already on that. Um, Everything labelled, book, 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 table, camera, everything labelled. Alright, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comments box down below. Hit that subscribe button if you fancy. Turn on those notifications. And remember to tune in to TalkSport at half past midnight on a Wednesday morning for Inspect Your Gadget. And stay tuned over at techaddicts.uk for new and exciting podcast information upcoming. And other than that, take care.